Hi everybody, it's Casey here and welcome back to my channel. I'm talking really loud because Leslie is sleeping next door. But I have to put her back in like 30 minutes-ish. So. <sighs> because Cody got rushed one day at 9.30 a.m. and this sucks. And we have an entire second one today, tomorrow, basically. Um, because it's only like 11.30. Um. But, um, Starbucks opened at 8 and thank goodness. So I stopped and got me a call. I got me a, a little crepe caramel lemon crunch frappe. A frappe. And the new pineapple paradise cold foam brew, whatever it is. Um, but it's actually pretty good. They both are... Okay. The pineapple one was definitely better, but I had mixed it, and I would not suggest mixing it because it's not so great. But I did find a couple of... Um, it was like $19.95. And I don't know how I honestly spent as much as I did, but I did. Um, I bought this in my... Because uh, they were, they, they are, I, I'm not going to see them because I'm not going to honestly be there when they're open. But I am going to try to pick up a cup tomorrow. And then I'll probably never go to Starbucks again because they are not open in that building. In case you didn't know, the building I work has a Starbucks, okay. Um, we are a college campus. I liked the lid on this a lot. And then the straw. And the other one was a pride one. But I didn't really love the colors. Because it wasn't like... I don't know. I just didn't love the colors. So I went with it. And then I got my Alaska one I've been using. And like I said, we are house hunting. And I've decided I'm going to make my husband build me a shelf. Or there's going to be a shelf in my new house. So I can like have my Starbucks cups there. Um, showing them off to the world because they are one of my favorite things to drink out of. And then like I like my Stanleys as well, but they kind of get heavy when you're trying to carry them around. My hands are full. But uh, I do have my bog bag because I can just shove them in there and pray they don't spill. Look, I braided my hair because uh, I want it out of my face today. I ate like crap because. I was so tired. I got a couple hours of sleep and then it's so sad. So I woke up several times and then I officially got up and checked the time and it was four o'clock. And usually or usually I've gone and picked up my daughter by then. So I was like quick, I gotta go get her. So I run to the daycare. And she's sitting in a corner with a teacher crying because she thought I had abandoned her and I wasn't going to come and pick her up. And that really hurt me. I cannot tell you how much it hurt me. But it did. Because I never want her to feel like she's abandoned. And that really, so, you know, she, and of course when she saw me, she's like, Mama. And I was like, what? You know what? Like, oh, she's just, she, she's just sad. We kept having to tell her that you weren't going to come and get her. And I was like, I know, I work, I work in this weird schedule. And but it broke my heart. Because I don't want my little, my little baby to feel like that. So tomorrow, even though I'm basically doing the same thing, um, I'm not going to let them, because today's meeting ran over. I'm not going to let them do that again. I'm going to leave at 9.30 because I came in a little bit early. They, they deserve to let me go on time. So, and I don't care. I mean, I already pay my two weeks. What are they going to do? Fire me? I already worked my shift, so. But that was one. It did kind of irritate me. She's like, well, overnights I've already worked their shift. And they're still here. And I'm like, well, stop wasting my time and get me out of here. Because... Like, you could tell none of us really retained, like, on overnights, none of us really retained anything. None of us were asking questions. None of us were 
and then um, we heard at the beginning from one person that we weren't going to come. We were going to come in at our normal time, which would have been fine with us. And then, um, sadly, our supervisor asked, and she said, "No, nope, we're expected to come in." I tried to talk about that, but that was the biggest letdown I think of the day, besides letting us out late. Like for everybody else, their shift had just started. So, 110 minutes of us are gonna hurt. But us, oh heck yeah, it hurts us. Because I don't, I don't live close, so I have a drive, and I think I may have beat the system, but I'm afraid to push it because um, I'm driving a car that is not mine right now, or as I wait for mine. So, um, I drive a car that's not mine, and. As long as I don't put my tag in it, then they can't, uh, they can give a ticket, but they can't, they don't like, because as long as it's not registered, your tag's not registered to a specific, um, color or, you know, then they're probably not going to give you a ticket for parking in a visitor's spot. It's exactly what I did. And plus, there's so much construction going on, I think I'm going to try to get, like, I'm going to try to, like, try to do it again today. And hope that I don't get a ticket. Excuse me. Because that would end up actually ruining my life, I think. Also, I'm almost out of my drink, and that makes me sad. I have Milo Zero Calorie Tea in there. I think I'm debating going to Starbucks again in the morning and getting a chai latte with heavy whipping cream or maybe getting like a black tea with a splash of heavy whipping cream and two pumps of sugar free vanilla I think I might do that or I might it might be a two drink kind of morning I'm gonna have to see because I may want to make sure that at five o'clock I am up to talk to my husband yeah I think so, yeah. I think that'll work. I think that's what I'm going to do. Sounds good to me. Because I need to, uh... I need to work out. I need to talk to him. Because I really don't get to... I mean, it's better now because he gets home around... He f made a schedule where he gets home at around 5.30 instead of 6.37. So that's nice, but that's still not a lot of time together. But it was great, like, eating dinner with him, and then he gave the kid a bath. And then, because of this crazy work schedule, she's been spending the night with her grandma. Which, I really appreciate his mom doing that, because I don't think my mom would, because <laughs> she needs no sleep, apparently. And Melanie does not like to sleep up there, so. Also... Um, I did get a comment recently how cute my animals are in the background. Thank you guys. Um, I think my dogs are cute too. And the cat is just the cat. So, um, but my dogs are in trouble. Because if you can't see, they kind of peed on that bed. Um, I need to get a cleaner, professional cleaner. Um, yeah, it's very gross. I need to get onto it. But, like, I don't want to do it right now because I'll be handling bleach. And I don't want to get bleach on me before I go to work. So, it's going to have to wait. But I have decided that I'm going to go through my house. Because we had a yard sale. And, like, I did really well. I mean, not as well as I really liked. But we started at 8 a.m. And we ended at noon. And I had made $107. So, I was very happy. Um, I might see about doing another one, but actually definitely going through my house and do, getting rid of stuff. Because we have a lot of stuff that we don't need. So, I think I might like Marie Kondo things. Um, and actually be honest with myself, because I keep a lot of things that I have no need to keep them. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have a twist. I'm just gonna really calm down everything. Oh, so 
my sister's boyfriend 3D printed this because he has a 3D printer. And uh, I think it's really funny. It's supposed to hold your pin. I had a glass pin in it, but unfortunately my cap broke. So I need to replace that because my sister had bought me that glass pin. She was very excited about it and it was very sweet of her. So shout out, I'm gonna get another glass pin and thank you to my sister. But honestly, um, if I'm being honest, I don't think anybody but my husband knows that I have a YouTube channel. I know when I was younger they did because I told my mom and dad, but I don't think they know now that I've started again. But like I'm a grown adult, I don't live with my parents, so um, I guess I never really felt the need to. So that's kind of I think that's kind of funny because I should probably say something. But we're going to see how long I can keep the party up and if they ever notice. I still have like 40 minutes. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I am going to go ahead and get off this. Because I don't know what. I'll figure out something else to do. But this is a long video. and My long videos never do well. So anyway, love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful night. Bye.